hello folks today as you can see we'll be working on a Sierra GMC Sierra 2018 it has a code of U1510 U1510 and of course it tells you it's a manufacturer's code blah 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 take it to the dealership well this vehicle is equipped with what they call shutters on the front side you can see them right here this is a shutter and they close and open you know depending on the temperature and uh you know how warm your car is how fast it'll get warmed up you know how cold it is outside blah 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 uh it just keeps your engine basically at temperature so we're going to replace those today because they are not that they're not working they open and close it's just that they're not communicating so something's wrong with uh with the actual little motor inside the shutters um i'll show you as we go along but i'll show you how to get them off first so you want to get to the front of your vehicle you want to pop all these little grommets that i've already popped out out the front of the hood i mean the front of the engine compartment they're all over the place this is what they look like they're little grommets they go in the hole and they push down and that's what holds it so what you want to do is you want to get your little screwdriver or something I've got a little special screwdriver and just pop this part up and the whole thing comes up and voila okay and then see I've got them all sitting to the side there there's our one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve of them on there so that's the first thing you got to do once you get the, all those off then you can take this and basically just pops right out. And you want to set this to the side. Okay, once you got that off, you'll see the bolts that hold the grill. One, two, three, four bolts. Hold on to the front of your grill. Okay, but before you get there, let's... Uh, we got to take this little plastic piece that goes right here. We got to take that plastic piece off. It's part of the trim. And to get that off, basically you take go by the wheel well, and you'll take this one bolt off. Once you take this bolt off, there's another bolt sitting right here in the back that we're going to remove, and then that loosens this piece. All right, so for this little bolt, you're going to need a number seven. There's the little bolt. You can put it on top of my tire there. Now you're going to pop back on this. There you go. It's going to come loose. As you can see. And then there's a bolt right there that we want to take loose. And it's up, pointing up. So, I think it's the same size. Can't see it without the light. As you can see, the bolt's pointing up. It's right there. It comes out. I'm right there. And once you have that loose, you should be able to pull on this and pop it out like so. I'm not be able to get this on camera. I'm gonna need two hands. Okay, so this will pop out like so. Okay. Now you've got to get under the vehicle now. Okay, folks, once you pop both sides loose on each end of the vehicle, we're going to look for these. Those are the tabs holding the front. And there's probably three, four, five that I can see that are holding this. What you want to do is you want to take one hand and push on the tab. And with the other hand outside, you want to pull outward. 
and you just want to work these all the way across all the way from one end to the other until that front piece comes loose as you can see that's what holds all this front side up you want to set this to the side it's very it's got all these little clamps all over the place that hold them in there and once you got that piece off then you'll see the other bolts for your grill here they are you want to remove one two on the bottom three four four on the bottom one two three four on top and that'll take your grill out right here okay folks once you have all of those out just a matter of grabbing the grill with both hands um, right over this way and just whoop, popping it out just like that boom there's the grill and set it to the side there's the grill now there's your front piece there's your active shutters right there these are the shutters they open and they close these are frozen and it's not communicating back to the machine behind here there's a little motor that communicates back and forth to the computer now the only thing you have to do is unplug this wire right here on that connector there's a sensor right here that if your new one didn't come with you'll have to put it on here it disconnects on the back side um, to remove the shutters you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen twelve or thirteen screws and we'll go ahead and take them off now all right so we're taking the bolts off now we're going to unplug simply to unplug you pull up on the red and then you should be able to push squeeze whoa okay so there's a little clip right here it's just a little push clip so when you pull on the shutter you feel it come off there's the shutters guys there's the little motor that's on the back side of it it loses communication I don't know if it's dirty grime whatever that's your shutters that's the old shutters there's the new shutters next to it as you can see mine are closed they come closed uh, here's the little sensor that we'll have to remove from here and this is just a matter of pulling unplugging and then removing and putting it right there all right folks had to pause the video for a minute there uh, right now would be a great time to go ahead and clean your grill get all them dead bugs off of there um, you should be able to see daylight through there like I can see I can see the inside of the motor there through here uh, which makes good for efficient cooling airflow through there um, be gentle you guys know nowadays most radiators are made out of plastic and copper some aluminum so try not to bend the fins try not to break anything try not to damage it just be gentle with it this is real soft aluminum um, this one seems to be some kind of either copper or aluminum painted with some plastic on the side so just be careful be gentle with it go ahead and clean your radiator all right once that's done um, and all the shutters back I put the sensor on there to remove the sensor all you have to do is go from the inside and kind of squeeze these little tabs that you see there 
That's a little bug on there, huh? Let's get that bug out of there. Um, squeeze those tabs, and it'll pop out right out the back. All I did was squeeze one, and it came out the back side. As you can see, it just pops right out. And then just reinsert it. Plug it in on the back. Um, make sure when you plug it in, you push this little tab in. It should be out. Now it could just come out. Sorry, folks. So the little tab, like that one on the top side, it pulls down like that. And then to lock it in, just push it right on in. That'll keep that that wire in that center. All right, folks. Motor towards the inside. Shutter's closed. You can see this. But I'm installing them on there. And you'll put them right back where they were. Just make sure you grab tab, tab, push. And the rest of your bolts should all line up. And don't forget to plug this in. Um, that should do it. Alright folks, there they are. Installed. Very new. Now reverse the steps. And put it all back together. Sorry about that. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Help your brother out. These are the shutters. I called something else. Um, but we call them shutters. Good luck. Keep YouTubing.